So the next section is accounting for capital improvements and depreciation. And we have left them blank to be entered manually. So all your capital improvements that you make, they are capex, all the my capital expenses that you make to the property that you can claim depreciation on separately, uh, or you can claim depreciation on the property separately. They can be added manually for the entire year over here. So you can enter them here and you can enter the depreciation on the real property that is on the depreciation on the property itself. Then if you got depreciation on capital improvements, you can enter them manually right here. And if you have any amortization and closing costs for that year where you are going to sell it or you have other costs that you want to add, you can add that here. And if you are making any kind of interest income during those period every year, you can add those here as well because they are treated a little bit se separately. Now, this is all you need to be able to come up with a number that explains, uh, you know, and, and helps you make a decision whether or not this is worth your investment. And we also show that every year that you hold it, what's your internal rate of return is going to be if you set it out for that year. Uh, based on your uh, assumptions that you have made. Now, in the following videos, I am going to go through all the different metrics that we've got uh, in here so that you get a better understanding. So these videos were all to input and all the other videos are going to be based on decision metrics that you can use to decide what you need to do. So um, I will explain each one of them, um, each of these, what they mean, because this whole sheet in itself is a uh, is a summary report that you can present or publish or share with anybody if you wanted to publish something like this you could go file click on share and click on publish to web and it will publish the entire document there for you press the publish button click ok and you'll see that it'll give you a link copy that link cancel it come back here paste it and you will see that this is now a published sheet completely. Now, the other section that we have here is called graphs. And these graphs get automatically populated for you to have a look at a breakdown of your operating expenses, market value, equity and debt, what what that looks like, uh, initial investment, principal payments and cumulative equity, what the investment would look like going forward. So it shows you all different things that you can uh, you can quickly uh, use in reporting. So look at your graphs here. Graphs are also available once they are published. You'll see here. Uh, and then you've got all the details right here. So that is how you do it. And now in the following videos, I will explain how, how and what each of these things mean. Um, how can you use them? So in essence, the following videos are actually going to be more uh, useful to you to understand in making uh, the better uh, in, to understand how to use this better and how to use this to your advantage to make the best decision.